We went back, we applied for the Carta de Identita. I sound so slang when I say it, I hate it. Welcome back to my channel, Maria here from Just Live Your Thoughts. I know I have been MIA for the past how many months? I don't even remember because the last time I vlogged for you guys was when I went to the dentist with Marco, I think. And everything else after that, just nothing. And I'm really sorry um, for not updating where we've been or what we've been doing, but there has been a lot that's been happening. Well, not really, but <laughs> I've been really, really busy with work and Marco as well. So we've just been really focusing on working and working and working because next year we are planning to buy our own home. So we're really just, you know, working our ass off for that. So. Um, in this video, um, I won't be talking about my work or anything like that. So if you're not, you know, wanting to hear about this video, then you guys can just wait for the next vlog. I'll probably do something about my work here in Italy so that you guys know, you know, have, would have an idea on what my work is and what I do and what you can do as well. Because if you really want to do something, you will always find a way. So for today, guys, I wanted to talk about my permesso di soggiorno and also my carta di identità. It sounds so slang and I hate it. Carta di identità. Guys, my only viral video I don't know if you guys know it or not, but there are a lot of people asking me about the Permesso di Soggiorno and also asking um, what's the update and everything. And I'm so sorry I haven't responded to all of you guys. And so here I am. Um, I, I'll try my best to answer hopefully all of your questions. So let's just go back to how it all started. So as you guys know, next month, June 2019, we will be here in Italy for one year already. I feel like my grammar is wrong, but that's okay. So in June 24, 2018, me and Marco arrived here in Italy. And after, I think on June 25th, I went right to the Questura to report that I am here. So I went to the Questura and I applied for the Permesso di Soggiorno. So I am from the south or we are from the south of Italy. And there are a lot of immigrants here. I did mention that in my other vlog. There are a lot of immigrants here and I'm guessing that's why it took so freaking long to get this Permesso di Soggiorno. When we went there in June 24th, no sorry, June 25th, we went to the Questura, I reported and guess what? They gave me an appointment. So when I get this Type C visa that the Italian embassy from the Philippines gave me, it only lasts up or va is valid until three months. Yes, up until September. So we went to the Questura, they gave me an appointment for the 17th of December, 2018. So of course I panicked. I was like, um, is that possible? Um, because my visa ends in September of 2018. Of course I'll be here illegally. Is that okay? Blah, blah, blah. I had so many questions, but here's what I realized guys. And if you guys are worried about it as well, don't worry guys, if your visa has expired, as long as you're in Italy, you are safe. Just don't get out of the country and you know go to another Schengen country or maybe go back to the Philippines though you can you can go back to the Philippines it's just that the immigration when coming back to Italy they will probably question you and maybe even entering the Philippines they will also question you because your visa has expired so my appointment was for December 17 2018 so I had you know I couldn't do anything about it um, and we just waited so I waited for six months six months to you know get this or actually apply for the Permesso di Soggiorno so take note guys that appointment 17th of December was only my application Going to the Questura on the 25th of June wasn't the application yet. That was just, you know, reporting. So they gave me an appointment for the 17th of December. So of course, a lot of things happened between June and December, but of course we made sure that we would stay within Italy. And that's what we did. Then came winter and I experienced the cold and all that and 17th of December came. So we went back to the Questura and um, you know, I gave my appointment um, and they just asked for my passport and they just took in some details and then they told us to go to another door. So we went to another door, that's where they took my thumbprint, my fingerprint, my biometric, whatever you guys want to call it. And then they said, okay, you have to wait now. 
So we're like, okay, another waiting game. So, <laughs> so we were kind of like stuck. We we didn't know what was happening. We weren't given an exact date when the permesso de sojourner would be provided. So they just said, oh, in one and a half months' time, it'll arrive or it will be ready. So we're just kind of like, okay, we're not gonna expect anything, of course. So that's what happened in December. So Christmas came by. Um, New Year's came by, Valentine's came by, still no Permesso de Sojourno. March came by, then finally April. So you guys, if you want to count, I applied in December for the Permesso de Sojourno. That's my application. January, February, March, April. Mid of April, I believe. Yes, April 15th is when I received my Permesso de Sojourno. So we went back to the Questura and that's it. We picked up my my Permesso de Sojourno and that's it. It was, it, it was easier to, of course, pick up something than applying for it. But yeah, four months of waiting, guys, it's ridiculous because actually it's almost a year. I came in June, I got my Permesso in April. So almost a year to receive this piece of paper it's crazy but it feels good to know that you know I'm no longer staying illegally in Italy because sometimes we would go out um, you know we want to go somewhere in Italy and I was just scared sometimes that police would come up to me and ask me for some papers and such so that was kind of really scary but you guys don't have to be scared as long as you have the appointment and you're not you know you, you yourself know that you're not here illegally so the premise of the sojourno looks like this just a piece of paper. If you guys lose this, if you, it gets wet or something, then of course it would be a problem. It would be another probably two years of waiting again, but we don't want that. So I haven't actually bought yet uh, plastic for it, but um, I will soon, I hope. So um, this is the premise of the Sojourno. I won't, of course, I can't show you guys my details, but I'll show you my beautiful face. I can't show you guys my... <laughs> My information of course and then it says at the bottom bot, bottom it says at the bottom here residence card of a family member of a union citizen so this is the permit guys that I am you know legally staying now here in Italy so after a few weeks um, we went to the commune to apply for the Carta di Identita so a reminder guys all of this is just based on my experience there are other questuras, other communes that provide these documents faster. There are questura in communes that provide these documents slower. So this is just really all based on my experience. And um, if you guys just want to get an idea of what will happen or what can happen to you. So we went to the commune and they said that if, uh, first you have to apply as a resident in the area okay so before they give you a carta you have to be a resident so I'm no longer a resident of the Philippines though I am still a Filipino but my residence residency is now here in Italy so they have to um, update their records we waited probably maybe two weeks three knowing how slow they are and knowing that this town is so small I don't know how they do it but that's how it is here in Italy and I'm not saying to all okay this is just based on my experience um, we waited probably two and a half weeks I don't remember and then we went there and they said okay your residency is good you're now part of this town and it's all good you can apply now for the Carta de Identita so take note guys first is that the commune needs to um, you know note you down as that as you are you know residents of the place or the town that's when it can be applied so we went back we applied for the Carta de Identita I sound so slang when I say it, I hate it. Okay, so we went back and we applied for the Carta de Identita. And uh, before that, they said you have to go to the Tabaki where you need to apply or get a receipt for this Carta de Identita. So if you guys don't know what a Tabaki is, a Tabaki is where you um, buy smokes, <laughs> buy cigarette and uh, play the lotto or something and such. So. It's crazy to think the receipt for the carte de identita is, you know, you get that, the tabaki, but that's okay. That's how it works here and I don't want to question it. So we got the receipt and um, then that's the time that we were able to apply for the uh, carte de identita. They took my height, they took my information and such. Then after 
they told us to come back after three to five days or three to seven business days and so we did and fortunately they were able to give my card to the identita not when we came because they had to call us back that it was ready so we went back to the commune i got my card to the identita and i just felt so relieved it was over card to the identita looks like this i sound so smart looks like this i can't of course show you my details again let me just cover it up a bit but i'll show you my picture because that looks so beautiful there <laughs> So that's what the card looks like. It's actually a card. Marco has a card to the identity as well because of course he is, you know, he's an Italian. But his carta di identità is actually paper. Um, I think that's what it was before they they uh, changed to this digitalized or this card type of carta di identità, which is really good. So the Carta de Identita is actually valid for 10 years, so I don't actually have to renew it. And I'll just renew it after 10 years. The same goes with Marco. I think it applies for everyone. Now the Permesso di Soggiorno, mine is only valid for four years, some five, some two. It really depends on the uh, place. It really depends on your questura and the place or the, um, or the place. Yeah, it really depends on the place. <laughs> So you guys might ask, what is a permesso and what is a carta de identita? And I will tell you guys from what I know, okay? From what I know. I'm not gonna tell you guys that I'm an expert at this and I know everything. So a permesso de sojourno, from my understanding, this is like your permit to stay. As what it says on the card, it says residence card, okay? So residence card meaning that this is your ticket ticket to life in Italy, meaning that you are legal, legally staying in Italy and this is it. This is your permit. So you mustn't lose this. So now what is a Carta de Identita? Carta, ident the Carta de Identita is a card of identity. It's like your identity card. So in the Philippines, it's like, um, what cards do we have? Like a Umid ID, Umid. Um, and other things. The only the only government ID I had in the Philippines was the human, so that's all I know. So that's it, guys. That's it, Pancit. I think I've covered the things I needed to cover regarding the permesso and the carta de, de identita. But if I remember something, of course, I will do another vlog about it, I guess, or maybe just insert it somewhere in my vlog. And if you guys have any questions, I will try my best to answer them um the only thing here is i'm just really really busy during the weekdays the weekends i am so so depending if i still need hours to work um but yeah so i just really wanted to do this video because i know i owe you guys and road to 1000 now guys i'm up to 500 i'm really happy road to a thousand i can't wait till i reach the 1000 mark and we're just gonna keep going up keep going up and i will try my best to provide more vlogs um if not daily i will try my best to do it weekly but that's it from me guys if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions go ahead and comment on the below or you can message me as well yes that is it and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel and want to keep updated with my life here in italy go ahead and click on that subscribe button so thank you guys for watching it has been great i missed this i thought i was like oh my god i don't remember how to do this anymore but i guess it's all natural so that's it guys thanks for watching have a great day